Hi everyone! Today we are sewing felt envelope pouches. First off, we're going to create our envelope shape. Using a sharp rear pen, mark down a 4 by 8 inch rectangle on the felt, then cut it out. I didn't cut it straight the first time, so let me just fix the edges. This is how it should look so far. Now fold it in half, hot dog style, and cut from the top of the folded sided corner at a diagonal going downwards. The top part should now look like an envelope flap. Match the corners of the ends to these corners. So you just fold it up and match it with the top corners. It should sort of look like this. And now afterwards you're going to pin the sides from this part to this part. This is how it should look. Now on to the sewing part. Grab a thread and needle. I chose white thread because I like how it goes against the pink felt material. Cut about one and a half arms length of thread just so you have enough to sew around your um, little envelope. Thread it through and knot at the bottom about three times to make sure it's secure. And here we are. If you look closely, I'm going to start on the end where there's the fold. I'm going through the back and pulling the needle all the way through. You're going to do this about three times in the same spot to knot it securely. You're going to do a blanket stitch all around the edges. Put the needle through the back of the fabric. Put the needle through this loop that I left behind. Oop. Yep, it's kind of a struggle right now. And then you just pull gently. Make sure you do it very nicely or else you're gonna get it knotted like how I did in this section. Here's another shot of me doing the steps. This is the loop that you're going to put the needle through. And just pull nicely. Yep, that one looks a lot better. Okay, now I've gone to the end right here. You have two options. You can either blanket stitch all along the top edges and then back down to seal it, or you can knot it at the end and then start again on the side area, leaving the top part blank. I prefer to have all that blanket stitch, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. And now you're all done. You can put your hand inside and it looks super cute already. Now that you're done, we can leave it as is, just like this. Or you can add a cute heart decor or something else on the good side of the fabric. For the heart, I'm going to cut out a square with my white felt. With our square, I'm going to fold it in half. And then using my Sharpie, I'm going to draw half a heart on the folded side. This is how it looks now. So this is the folded side, and the other side is the open flap. Cut the heart out, and it will look something like this. I think I made it a little too big, so I'm going to trim it a bit. I'm going to sew around the heart right here. Just make sure that you don't accidentally sew the pouch together. Sometimes I actually do that and I sew the two layers together and then have to end up seam ripping it all. I'm just going to do a basic stitch for the heart. If you look at my other example, it's not a blanket stitch, it's just a basic sewing stitch. I highly recommend putting a pin through the heart so that it doesn't move when you're sewing it. Now we're almost done! If you're happy with how it is, you can just fold, fold the flap down and you're good to go. Or, if you want it more secure, you can add a button on the back or velcro. For the velcro, you peel the two parts in half, cut off a little rectangle, and place it on the envelope flap and the envelope itself. Typically, I use a glue gun, but you can use whatever kind of fabric glue or sewing stitch you want to secure it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe for future videos. See you next time!